Evening guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a beautiful evening. Let's try and whip the phone around here. Beautiful sunset. So I'm just heading over to a friend's house who has been helping me a bit on the on the 911 and the Land Rover actually every now and then, just with tools and ideas and stuff. And he's actually owned a uh, and ran a garage, an Opel like Vauxhall garage for 30 years, and then he uh, a couple of years ago joined us at work. So so he's a colleague actually. Uh, but anyway, so I'm heading over there this evening. He lives about 20 minutes outside of Dresden in some pretty beautiful countryside actually. And I've got both of the front wheel hubs for the 911 in the back of the car. And he's gonna press in the new wheel bearing on the right hand side, the offside uh, wheel, uh, wheel hub. And also when I took out the uh, control arms left and right, uh, you may remember that um, that the bushes came out of the, the the wheel hub so I've got to push those back in so he's gonna do that as well so that's what I'm gonna do now anyway I probably won't be able to get any footage of it because obviously it's his own garage his own home um, but I'll uh, I'll show you the aftermath when it's done <laughs> see you in a bit Okay, so just before we go in, I'm just going to show you what I've got. So that's the new wheel bearing with hub nut and the four bolts to hold on the retaining plate. Um, that is the offside wheel hub, which is where we're going to press the bearing into. That's the plate that goes on the top here. And that is the other one. And you can see, I'll show you on here. There you go, sounds like a bell, cowbell. But this is the bush that came out when I pressed out the, uh, the track rod ends. <laughs> okay guys so um, I'm back now from my friend's house and he's helped me push in those um, bushings and also the uh, the wheel bearing um, let me just turn around the camera so what we've got here already taken out of the box is the front right wheel carrier which obviously I decided to reuse um, and yeah we pressed in the wheel bearing which went absolutely fine sits nicely in there and we recut the threads for these bolts and the wheel bearing comes with new bolts and uh, a hub nut which is pretty cool so obviously i've refinished this plate here so one side is actually going to look better than the other because the other side hasn't got this this work done to it because the bearing's fine um but uh yeah that's how it's going to look i've got some thread locker uh for the bolts i've just got to check the um the uh, uh, the specs on the uh, on those bolts so before I tighten them up and we pressed in this bush here um, the other one is in here we also I'm not going to show you that but we also pressed that bush in but what I did want to show you 
was when I was there, he was chucking out a whole bunch of stuff, bearing in mind he's been building up a garage for 30 years, and he was going to throw away all these nuts and bolts, and I just couldn't let him do that, because there are tons and tons of things that I buy on a regular basis, and of course it's all mixed into one, and these buckets, they're pretty big, they're bigger than standard buckets, look, that's a standard size bucket, and these ones are like double the size, and they're completely full of everything, nuts, bolts, shims, screws, nails, um, look at all of these here, I've just been, I spent about 20 minutes sorting through all these things here, which some people might say, oh God, you're a hoarder. But if you've got a garage, this is like gold dust, this sort of thing. And the amount of money and resources um, which are inside these, these three buckets is insane. I mean, I can't even think of the, the English words for some of these. But, you know, light bulbs, fuses, uh, rubber bungs. I even found literally the first bung off the top here uh, fitted, <laughs> which was a real result. I hope it's not too dark right in the back of the Land Rover chassis here, which I've been wanting to get a, a rubber bung that big for ages. I've got to clean it up so it blends in a little bit, but it fits perfectly. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty pleased with that. There's a lot of sorting to do, and I'm gonna to go to the uh, DIY store and get some boxes uh, to, um, uh, to, to, you know, to, to sort of sort some of this stuff. I mean, it will take forever uh, to sort them properly, and there's probably, you know, quite a lot of rubbish in there as well. I've already started sort of clearing out the rubbish. Um, but uh, yeah, it's something that I'm just going to, I'll start sorting and then at some point I'll just end up tipping it into a big bin somewhere, a bin, you know, to keep. Um, and uh, that will that will help me through. It's one of those things which I'm really done with at the beginning of this uh, restoration because there's so many things in there that I needed. Um, but better late than never. So I'm pretty pleased with that. So yeah. I'm actually up here waiting for the guy to come and look at the paint again on the bottom of the 911, but as so many times in the past, it, uh, he doesn't seem to be turning up. So he's about an hour late so far. So I'm just gonna go home and spend some time with the family. See you next time. <laughs>